guys, I'm Tanya and welcome to my channel, The Donkey Business. Today I am going to be talking about a movie which I just finished watching. It's called Ajaga Jantaram, which is available on Sony Live and released in theaters like one and a half, two months back. Now, disclaimer, if you are watching this movie after my review, because I obviously never add spoilers, or if you're about to watch the movie, do not watch it on your laptop. This is a movie made for TV, home theater, or the big screen. If you're watching on the laptop, it's a total waste of time, energy, visuals, creativity, and just rather don't watch it. I am personally saying this because I started watching it on my laptop and five minutes through the film I realized hey you know what I'm making it the biggest mistake ever I am not watching this on my laptop and then I switched to my TV and the feel was totally different like I don't think I would like the movie as much as I did if I watched it on the laptop so please do not make that mistake now coming to the film so I watched the trailer of this movie around two or three months back and I was eagerly waiting for this film and um, I was like oh my god the feel of the film is so good the trailer is perfect and I think this is going to be in my top five Malayalam films just by looking at the trailer and I am honestly someone who does not watch trailers that much but I was blown away with the trailer of this film when the movie came I know I might offend a lot of people but I am here to speak my heart and be honest about what I felt about the film. When the movie came, honestly, I liked the trailer more than the film. I'm sorry but I'll tell you why I feel that. Now when I watched the first half of the film, I was left a little confused. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what's the story, what's the plot. I have too, I had too many questions. I understand that this was about a male art. Now, when I am watching a movie which is based in a male art, has ego issues, has two people and two teams against each other and all, you know, I expect a lot because I have seen this in Malayalam industry before. Like I have seen this in the Malayalam films before where there are two teams or two people who hate each other and there's a lot of action and drama between them. So I have seen such movies and I was very excited when I realized that oh this is in the same line because I honestly don't like violent films but when Malayalam cinema makes it, it makes it so cinematic that I love it. So I got very excited but honestly and frankly speaking I think that the movie was really lost in translation. I could not understand where the script was leading. The story for me was very weak and it was half as entertaining as the trailer. Like, I was eagerly waiting for this film but the film kind of disappointed me when it came to the story. I did not understand what was the point of making a movie which lacks so much story. Like you go for a movie for its story, twists, thrill, turns, ego. I understand that there were there was are uh, shown like people are not very like upmarket or they're like into alcohol or they have ego issues or they're like people who are a little rowdy i understand that but still where is the story like there are two people fighting okay but what are you fighting for where is it leading the energy of the film was this since the start and it remained this in the start in fact like in the middle of the film i remember very properly there was a dialogue which said that um the mela is not too good this time um and then the other person says that this is just the beginning wait till the evening it's gonna be grand and that was the middle of the film so i honestly thought that it's going to grow and you know this is just like the director's way of saying stick through the movie it's gonna grow but i just felt very disappointed with how it went because this is not what i expected so i think it really lacked story and content it did not excite me it did not want me to stick through it and because i'm into films and this film is so hyped i sat through it or else maybe i would not i'm really sorry and i know people are gonna get offended but this is how i feel and this is my opinion 
now coming to its technicalities i don't think that i have seen a movie in 2022 which is technically better than this film from its camera work to its music which i am going to rave about in the vlog just stick through it to its um, acting lighting everything was brilliant and this is the reason why i sat through the film this is the reason why i wanted to watch it in the theater and this is the reason why you guys should watch it in the theater honestly this movie is an entertainment dhamaka which you have not seen before like i have a thing for shots which are shot from up okay and the shots which are shot from up when the bus is going towards the mela and there's like greenery around and there's like led lights on the bus and everything oh my god i have loved it i have loved the lighting they have used i have loved the cre the i have loved the feel of a mela because honestly when i was watching the film i felt like i'm a part of it i felt the vibration i felt the attitude of between among people i felt the the violence i felt every f i have enjoyed the fighting sequences though i thought it did not make sense to me but i have enjoyed the fighting sequences i have enjoyed how they have used slow mo and how they've used so much drama and action because it just adds a lot of flavor in the film i have enjoyed the characters acting was great i really love both the actors i think they have done an incredible job camera work was good lighting was good i don't have any problem with the technicalities of the film and the most favorite part about the film for me was the music like the kind of trippy music he's used in the mela has blown my mind i, I have literally shazammed a few music pieces cuz i want to hear them again and again um the music that he's used the background the pgm is amazing and it was the most favorite part for me in the film i don't think that i enjoyed the music of any other film as much as i did of this i really really loved it and when i was watching the movie i was like ha huh, this is kind of reminding me of churuli not in the story zone at all i have loved churuli story but but in the feel and the background and the shots i was like ha huh, this is somewhat like churuli when it comes to its technicalities and then i read that the person who's named this film is lero joseph who is the director of churuli so of course there is some flavor of lero joseph in the film as well that's what i personally felt um so when it comes to recommending this movie honestly i would recommend it to you for its technicalities i would recommend it to you for what he's created i would recommend it to you for the music the art the direction everything i have no problem with the technicalities it's a 10 on 10 for me but when it comes to story i think it lacked a lot of pieces and i have seen a lot of malayalam cinema i know that there have been movies with ego issues with two people hating each other for petty reasons but this just did not resonate to me this just did not excite me or keep me hooked as much as other movies do so this is what i felt about the film if you guys think that i'm wrong please feel free to comment in my comment section and let's have a conversation about this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my imdb and i'm going to read a few reviews of what people have thought about the film and let's see if what we think is similar this is the first time i'm watching like this movie which doesn't have any good thing in it okay it does <laughs> as a movie it needs some story otherwise any good moments but nothing is there simply quarreling people without any character development i'm very disappointed about the crew who are taking such a shameful movie like this without anything good to offer simply a complete waste of valuable 2 hours i don't think it's a waste of valuable 2 hours because the technicalities are great and you have you will watch a few things in the movie that you've never seen before but i totally agree with the fact that simply quarreling people without any character development yes 
I also felt that they were quarrelling for no reason. Like, what was the reason behind it? What happened? There was no character arc. Like I said, the energy of the film was this from the start, and it remained this till the very end. I did not see an arc in the story. Okay, worst movie, no story. Two hours movie skipped one hour of fight scene, and that too pathetic fight scene. Not the one you find interesting to watch. actors were inexperienced and acting was low quality not recommended for family or kids only recommended for college party <laughs> member students who want to fight every day for nonsense reasons i like the acting is not that i didn't like the acting i enjoyed it because it was a very rowdy feeling and i think that the actors did a very good job in that kind of a uh, character but i do agree with the fact that it is recommended to college party member students who have small egos and fight for no reason i somewhat agree okay one hell of a movie pure adrenaline rush which i totally agree i had crazy adrenaline rush as if you had watched frank miller's mad max <laughs> top notch direction agreed cinematography agreed excellent background scores agreed Hell of a performances from all the actors. This is a must watch in theaters only. Agreed. The story revolves on a te um, temple festival ground and some problems arising during. Once it starts, it's like a it's like fire set to the crackers in rhythm. Uh, adrenaline rush, yes, but firecrackers set in a rhythm. I don't think there was a rhythm. It was just one tone for me. Chaos. Oh my god, yes, that is the perfect word to describe this film. Firstly, story part is not the one to be looked at. Okay, fairly simple premise, but all credit goes to the making. Exactly. You can just feel pure chaos hit you. Not the most polished movie, but it has more good things than bad things. Totally agree to this. Well done cinematography action scenes are good sound department is top notch and performances are on point won't be a total disappointment if you watch that is true if you're going for this movie for its story don't expect much but if you're going for its technicalities and to be entertained and have fun totally go for it a well executed with a a well executed movie with a simple story the story of the film is simple and there is nothing much about it The thing is in what's happening on screen. I've never seen a film like this in recent times. It's pure fun. It has some of the greatest action sequences that I've seen in Malayalam film industry. I don't agree. I think I've seen better. The camera work, editing, direction and acting were top notch. Yeah, I agree. It's an overall fun film which gave me an adrenaline rush. Totally agree. It gave me an adrenaline rush too. Waste of time, wasted opportunity, no storyline, super boring and slow and reasonable violence and fighting. Agreed. Only good thing about the movie is that it captures the vibe of Temple Festival. Agreed. Good cinematography, but wasted opportunity. Totally agreed. So I kind of agree with what people are also thinking about the film. The story is really weak, but apart from that, it is a very good film. Um, I do not highly recommend this movie because I had a lot of expectations, especially after watching the trailer. Like the trailer for me was a ten on ten. This was like I don't want to rate it, but not as good as the trailer of the film. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think watch it for its for its technicalities, watch it for entertainment. But I don't think that the film has a lot to offer. There are a lot of other Malayalam films which. I have enjoyed a lot and um I don't think I am properly happy with the film. Um I don't think that I am very satisfied with the movie. But let me know what you guys think about in the comments below. Um maybe we have different opinions, but um it's always good to discuss cinema with you guys and um Let me know what you think about the story of the film and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching my video.